Welcome to Chapter 10 of the Quick Terrain Modeler Getting Started Tutorial Series. In this module, you will learn all about exporting, from point clouds and surface models to analysis layers, vectors, markers, routes, textures, movies, and entire workspaces. We will be using the Iowa Des Moines LiDAR data in this video, so feel free to visit AppliedImagery.com forward slash download and download the zip file containing the Des Moines LiDAR data and imagery. Exporting means different things for different types of data, so let's explore them one by one. The logical place to start is to walk down the layer tree and explore right clicking on each type. The layer tree already groups different types of data together and will have different export possibilities for each type of data. Beginning with models, point clouds and surface models are both 3D items, but require different export formats. For point clouds, the most common format to export to is an LES file, which is the open standard file format for exchange and storage of point cloud information. For surface models, digital elevation or surface models, the most common format for export and the most widely used is the GeoTIFF DEM. For analysis layers like line of sight and HLZ maps, KMZ is the most popular export format. Once you export and save the KMZ file, Google Earth will launch with the file displayed. Here you can see where we chose our HLZ using the HLZ map. For vectors, shapefiles for ESRI and KML for Google Earth are the most popular formats, but they also can be exported to a CAD recognizable format, DXF. Markers, KML, and shape are the most popular formats, but also can be exported to an ASCII or text file for use in tables or printed data. Routes can be exported in the widely accepted GPS format GPX or in shape and KML files also. Textures, GeoTIFF, and KMZ are the popular formats with transparency options to facilitate use as overlays in other programs and hardware. Movies can be exported to AVI files. Simply right click on the file, select edit, then the Generate Movie tab from the Create Movie window. Select the AVI File Output button, name and save the file. Workspaces, an all-inclusive export option, can be found on the File menu. They save your entire layer tree to a single file. There are two types of workspaces, local and portable. Both save all your work, but in different ways. A local workspace saves only links to the files that are used, not the files themselves, unless Qt Modeler detects that a file has been changed from the file stored locally. Exporting to portable workspaces copies all the files in use into the workspace file. For this reason, portable workspace files will likely be much larger than local workspace files, but are best used when sharing work on different computers and networks. In summary, there are many different products and many different export possibilities within Qt Modeler. There is no one single place to find all the export functions, so make sure you right click on individual items and or folders in the layer tree to explore the various possibilities. This has been a brief overview of exporting, from point clouds and surface models to analysis layers, vectors, markers, routes, textures, movies, and entire workspaces. Thank you for using Quick Terrain Modeler and please contact us if you have any questions or suggestions. We'd love to hear from you.